So this is the second installment of cool or cringe custom track review, uh, where you guys submit Mario Kart Wii custom tracks to me via discord and I play them on stream. If you don't know about like what's going on with Mario Kart Wii right now, there's a very active community that creates custom tracks and there is a kind of like a custom track pack that everybody plays called CTGP. However, all of the tracks that I'm playing tonight are not in that pack. So a lot of people probably have never seen them before. I've never heard of them before. They exist on this very obscure website called like Talkdom. It's a it's a wiki and it's where all the fan made custom tracks live. So tonight we're delving into the depths of fan-made Mario Kart Wii custom tracks for the second time. I want to take my time and explore a lot of these tracks because I think for some of them there is a lot to see that you would miss if you were to just play them like in a race with CPUs or like with other people. So the first track I have tonight is called Interstellar Laboratory. So the description reads Interstellar Laboratory is a custom track uh, created by Bro Fun and somebody whose name is period underscore period. This track was completed in about one and a half weeks. Blood, sweat, and tears have gone into this track for a, a competition that they never made the deadline for, so we are giving it its rightful exposure here tonight. Whoa. There's a lot of visual. <laughs> There's a lot of visual effects. Holy shit. Colors. Wow. All right, let's just see what we can see. Okay, there's the colorful Rainbow Road. They, they weren't kidding about that one. Gym work is done. Nice. What'd you do today? Yeah, this is a lot of colors. There's a lot of, like, we got star bits flying around. We got so many different textures. I'm gonna go left. Left seems to be the play with the boost panels. Maybe this is, like, the safe route. Ooh. Okay. I like this a lot. Wait, I'm going backwards? Why am I going backwards? Okay, I'm not going backwards anymore. I think I just went around in a circle. Where do I want to go? This can't be right. Is this right? I'm trying to look at the mini-map. I know I'm covering it up. I have no idea. I just got lost. There's like... There's, there's a section I'll show you. After I complete a lap, at least. Okay, there's a lap. There's a section. There's a spot here. This circle. I believe I went around this circle more than once <laughs> on my first lap. Yoshi Valley vibes. Yeah, a little bit. But there were no arrows. There was no direction telling me where to go. This is just like... I want to... Maybe I can figure this out again. Maybe I missed something. Let's go right this time. We're going to go... This is the tighter path. And then you're going to want to... I'm trying... You have to like look at the mini map here. So we're going around the bottom of the, of the circle. And then you want to go out here yeah okay i see it's a very like nondescript left hand turn and then this is a shortcut i want to say yeah but you gotta take it really tight what if we go left this is probably faster going right there makes a lot more sense like driving wise so you can actually see where you're supposed to exit and what's the purpose of this nothing maybe there are boxes there in a regular race Okay, I want to I want to play this one more time because I think it might be fun to drive. It's just kind of Oh my game crashed <laughs> Ah immediate cringe this track sucks. It crashed my game. It hacked my Wii. Let's just reset <laughs> Yeah, very unlucky. It, it is very easy to get lost though you just have to look at the minimap, which I never do. I, I know lots of experienced players look at the minimap a lot. I don't need that. I just have my intuition. Let's move on. 226, 210. I dare you to beat it. Oh. Okay, so every time you finish Interstellar Laboratory, your Wii crashes. I think the track has cool potential, but maybe if the devs could put another week and a half into it to stop my Wii from crashing after I finish playing it, 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 it would be cool, but... I think it's pretty cringe. Okay, next, uh, this is a track called Quag Beach. Uh, it's been, it was created by a user named ZPL. It was made as a joke. So we have a little bit of a palate cleanser after that very serious try hard custom track. But then the author thought it would be a good track. So he finished it. I know nothing of this track other than there's a Quagsire on it. But if the author thought it was good, then, oh wow, look at all the Quagsires. 
I wonder if they hurt you. Oh, nope, they're not solid. You can just drive right through them. Okay, that's kind of cool. You don't hurt me? You're just a wall. Okay. Hello, little buddies. Look at them dancing around. He's a wiggler. Oh. Hey, wait, this is kind of nice. Oh, never mind. It can hurt you. Run away. The wigglers are evil. Dude, literally the evil quagsires. Oh, that was a lap. This is five laps long. Okay. There's not much to see here, I guess. He just decided to make it five laps. It is very short. We have the quag cannon. Very simple. Is there really even a shortcut? Look at the fly. Hold on. I have to look at that at the next lap. There's a flying... There it is, right there. Flying Chain Chomp. It's like an eel. It's like the eel from uh, Mario 64 in JRB. Yeah, I kind of I kind of fuck with this track. Aside from the fact that the Wigglers or the, the Quagsires can hurt you. I like the water. The water's very Wii Sports Resort-esque. How far can you go in this water? Oh, not far at all. Okay. I just needed to know. Pretty straightforward track. It's just a, a circle. It's a few turns. <laughs> Besides literally bump into them with your half ton rocket cycle. Have you, look at how big these guys are. You know they're thick, they can handle it. Okay, this one did not crash the Wii. Would I like to play this competitively? No. Do I think this is a fun gimmick track? Yes. I'm not basing my, my cool or cringe off of what do I want this in CTGP, but I do think this track's personally cool. Definitely not cringe. It was a nice little quick and easy track, not a lot to dissect. Uh, next, I have a track. This one is called Waterfall Water Rise, and it was created for the 28th edition of Billy Noodles's Custom Track Jam, where it placed third. So this track has been vetted. It has entered competitions, uh, and it placed on the podium, it got the bronze. I don't know how many entries there were, but it was in the top three. So I think this one might actually be a, like a quality, raceable custom track. Okay. We already have, oh my fuck, dude. Look at this mini map. Oh man, it's huge. It's like taking up half the screen. Let's, okay, let's go this way. And then let's go this way. Am I even like driving this correctly? It's like a maze. The mini map looks like a hurricane. Yeah, it does. Is this a... Okay, I just completed a lap. How did I get here? Is this like one of the... It's like a choose your own adventure track. Depending on what path you pick. Oh, wait, did I just go around in a circle? I just drove this. Oh, it's five laps. Okay. I'm confused, but this is pretty cool because you started on like this lower plane and then we went up, but you can see, let me turn around for a second. Look at all the starting lines. There's one super low, one in the middle, and now there's one up here. I think the water rises as and falls like over the course of the race. I don't know like what determines that, but that's that's a neat concept. So if I but I feel like I kind of just picked the top level first and stayed there. So I kind of didn't get to experience that effect. So I'm going to go hard left. Wait, is that a route too? Wait, what is this? Is this a route? Oh. Okay, but that didn't complete a lap, did it? Unless it... I'm not entirely sure what just happened. So if I just keep going hard left, will the water ever rise? Oh, it's rising right now. Okay. And then you get a respawn. Cool. I like that. That's a neat concept. So now the water's at like a mid-level. Can I drop down here? You definitely can drop down. Huh. Oh, this is really cool. I like this a lot. And there's a lap. Okay. There have got to be some really interesting strats for this. And once you're on the top, you're on the top. 
This is better than like 30% of CTGP tracks. This is awesome. You have to have like a ginormous brain though. There's gotta be some really cool strats you can do with like cutting from the top path to the bottom path and like saving huge amounts of time. I love this a lot. Oh, it's rising, it's rising, it's rising, it's rising, it's rising. Okay, I see it. So you can do one lap on the bottom. And now I'm gonna go to the middle level, I think. Cause I died over here last time. I got like around this corner, I think. And then I just kind of died. Yeah, now it's, it's consumed the bottom level. But I wonder if you can like, if you can be fast enough. Oh, you definitely can. You can like be just fast enough to get to cut that, that turn. I gotta get up to the higher level now. Yeah, you can like just beat it out, I think. Ugh. Yeah, dude, I wonder. I wonder if you can be fast enough to get like three laps in or four laps in before the second the second uh, level rises. I I would love to like see other people's times for this because this track is really innovative. Next, I have another intergalactic track. This track is called Intergalactic Layer. It's a custom track created by Dave David Slane and Snicky. Oh wow. Well, there's the arrows and asteroids. Crazy. You're great. That's good to hear. Nice to see you. Are we just like doing like a pipe transfer here? Yeah, we are. That's very jank. Wow, I, I do not like this. <laughs> this is blind. I hope I live. So one of my big things about custom tracks that I dislike are the blind jumps. I have no way of knowing where I'm going. Thwomp. And now we're in a castle. And I'm gonna go this way. Oh, that's off-road. I had no way of knowing that was off-road. This track's a mess. I can tell that this creator had a lot of ideas and he just kind of threw, or, or she, they just kind of threw everything at it and decided that everything stuck. Wow. Amazing. It is pretty. It looks really good. That's about all it's got going for it. And then like, can you jump on this thing? Oh, you can and it's trickable. <laughs> Endless surprises on intergalactic layer. <laughs> but yeah, let's try shrooming off the half pipe. Maybe we can get in that little cave. We shroom like here. Yeah, that's how you do it. But like, how would you know to do that? You know what I mean? It's not very intuitive. Let's try this. Ooh. Now that was a shortcut that felt really good to do. This track has cool potential, uh, but in its current state, it is cringe. You know there's stuff behind the thwomp walls? Like here? Oh, shit. A QR code? It's a YouTube video. Oh, shit. No way. <laughs> Dude, it is a Rickroll. <laughs> Dude, it's a Rickroll. <laughs> Hilarious. This track is cool now. I changed my position on this track. This is the coolest track I've ever played. Maybe if the creator of this track spent less time putting a QR code into his track and more time on actual good custom track design, he would have placed higher than sixth place in uh in Billy Noodles' custom track jam. Okay, next. I was pleased to find that this track released like last week. It's brand new. It's called Lunar Lantern Festival and I have it over Gromo Volcano. It was created by Squire Turnbolt and it's themed around the Lunar New Year. It has references to the uh, Mario Kart 8 track Dragon Driftway, which I am personally a fan of that track. So, ooh, yeah, look at that lighting. We got some purple glow on everything. Very cool. We have some uh, some fans, some oversized fans cheering us on. And the minimap doesn't look too scary, so let's just see what's what's going on. 
You just sort of I knew on the wiki? God damn it, Jay. I thought you actually found something good. Festive Wiggler? I'm here for Festive Wiggler. Who are making these maps? I don't know. Just like random Mario Kart Wii fans or something. This track is sick. Look at the thwomps! Unpaid Mario Kart Wii prof My wheelie locked. Unpaid Mario Kart Wii professionals. These turns are tight. I like this a lot. Hello, soup. Oh, it's only two laps. This track's long. Bad moguls. Oh, I don't think you want the flip trick there. You definitely don't. I think you want to take it tight and then go on this top route. Let's do that next lap. Oh, no, wait. There is no next lap. That's the end. Okay, let's do it again. This track is beautiful, and it drives really well. I'm a, I'm liking this a lot. Okay, I want to take this tight, I think. Ugh. Oh, this is off-road. Okay. I don't know why this is here. This just kind of seems like a weird addition, like putting a ramp there. But look, we're like going into the mouth of a dragon. It's so good. Do I... Oh, my God. I hate this turn. Wait! Oh, they made this thing drivable. That's awesome. This track is really, really good. Definite cool. Everybody should play this track. I think I only have one more. I do. This is the last track. Damn, this went by really fast. I wanted to save this one for last. I'm, I'm going to go into this with no excla explanation. I want to see if you guys can guess what this is. And if you're watching this on YouTube, leave your guess down below in the comments. Wow. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what is go Wait, what's this? Oh. Okay. And now we're here. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> am I stuck? Oh, oh shit. Can you like go? Oh, look at this. <laughs> Wait, was I just respawned at the beginning? What a terrible respawn, dude. Can I give you a sub please? No. Okay, we got the trick. Am I gonna land on the flagpole? No. How are you supposed to do? I can't even see anything. Okay. Okay, Goombas. I am now on top of a Goomba. <laughs> I don't know what to do from here. I think I'm stuck. Please don't let chat vote on the best track of the week. I worry this would win. You know, it probably would. I think we're at the end. We did it. All right. Five minutes. <laughs> so I think... I think it might be impossible without taking the shortcut, at least with the flame runner. That was, that was something. That, that was a huge shortcut. Make sure I'm perfectly straight. All right. Oh, this is free. Oh, just kidding. I am inside the Goombas. Can I? Okay, there we go. You just have to like wait for the damage to go through i guess this is tricky this is it this is it yes new record <laughs> huge cut half the time okay well that's that's all i got i don't have any more tracks tonight but i would say all of those were really good with the exception of intergalactic layer that was the only cringe one. I think the rest of them were just cool. I, I don't think you could even label 1-1 one, one in Mario Kart Wii as cool or cringe because it's just wacky. I think my favorite one was probably 
It's probably a tie between Waterfall, Water Rise, and Lunar Lantern Festival. Lunar Lantern Festival has been crowned the winner of this week's Cooler Cringe custom track. So that will be the track that I challenge you guys to time trial and get the best time in by next week or whenever the next time I do the next iteration of this series.